uh, I want to try and explain. Oh, maybe I should just make another video about it. I want to talk about thought mass as I understand it. My dad just asked me, well, what do you know about quantum theory? And I said, and I'm, I'm not saying that I know everything about this. I'm not saying that I'm the educated expert on the subject, but I, I have read about it, and I've watched movies on it, and listened to other people talk about it. So I know about it. I've read about it, like, I read about Einstein and what he was doing and his unifying theory, and he was looking for the strings. So he died, and then because the technology wasn't good enough at the time for him to locate it. But now it is. Microscopes, like we didn't, microscopes are, are allowing us to evolve. We build it, and then we learn, and then we. I know that there are 11 dimensions according to modern string theory, and that there are four forces of gravity on a sub nuclear level. There are strong and weak nuclear force, there's electromagnetic force, and then there's gravity. And they're all the same strength. And gravity, as we know it, this force is a weak percentage of what gravity actually is. The majority of gravity is lost to extra dimensions, according to string theorists. And they don't know why it's lost to extra dimensions, just that it is. I believe this is where it becomes a theory that I have created. I believe that we are controlling gravity. I know we are. I see things fall when we push them. When we jump, we come back down. And it has become an accepted law. Now, I think the thing about theoretical law, theoretical science, is that the reason theory fails is because not enough people get behind it. That that not enough people believe it, so then it just gets disproven. But if everybody believes a theory, then it becomes known as a law. Really. People believe gravity as it's stated, so it is. But if we believe it's something else, then it becomes something else. And that's why science is constantly changing. Because people's minds are evolving with the new technology and so video is projecting thought I think that thought is controlling gravity I'm positive of it when you say something it's more likely to happen the words are, are a projection of thought and then the video is an even more powerful projection of the words so it's like we're we're exploding out what's in here to the mass of people that can listen and then have the same thought and just like the hundred monkeys on the island where one monkey starts to wash a coconut and then all the other monkeys eventually over the next X amount of years start to wash the coconut and then monkeys on another island start to wash the coconut and how the fuck does that happen I don't know exactly except that I believe that we're connected to each other through this this conscious experience the spirituality the reason they that we made up the idea of God is to try and explain it I think we have more control over it so I want to explore it and that's what I've been doing that's the whole point of all this we control this gravity that's lost to extra dimensions, whether we realize it or not. This gravity is affecting us always. And when we say, "I'm gonna, my car's gonna run out of gas, it's gonna run out of gas, oh fuck, I'm gonna run out of gas, and then it runs out of gas, we made that happen. But when it's running out of gas, and my impulse was to freak out, instead I said, I'm going to find a gas station. And I did. Because that's what happens in life. You project it, and then it just c comes into focus. It just happens. It, you, I think it, it literally is pulled. We pull things to us. We we affect everything gravitationally right now, everything around us. This Gatorade bottle and my hand are gravitationally pulling on each other. I just don't perceive it with this body. The human body is not built to perceive it. It's just built to be in it. But our minds can perceive it. They can and we have to build our minds to a point where they really get it and so that's why I just keep talking about it because the more I talk about it the more I understand it or the or the better clearer idea I have about it uh, uh, so I, I see Brad Pitt saying I want a car and then it comes to him the next day or that day because his thought mass has acquired so much because so many people are thinking of him and giving their power of gravity to him when you watch someone on stage when there's one guy on stage and 50 people are watching him, they're, they're willingly giving their, their thought mass to them. When you're listening to me speak right now, you're willingly giving me your thought mass. You're giving this construct, Ian Crossland, whether I realize it or not, my words are becoming more empowered. Just, just having this connection between us. Although I find that if I don't listen to you and your response, then it becomes in this imbalanced mess, this wreck. And that's why famous people go crazy is because they have this imbalanced amount of gravitational pull that's like throwing them spinning out of orbit. So the key then is to continue to communicate even though you become famous. 
Like people that are famous are afraid to walk out on the street because people want to talk to them. They feel like they know them. And then the famous people are like, ah, I don't know this person. I don't. That's why I, I postulate that we just put ourselves up on video, everyone. That everyone becomes a little famous. Everyone takes control of gravity a little bit more. It's hard to be famous. It's hard to be known by people that you don't know. And it's a new thing with humanity, with video. But we, we should all do it because we can do it together. And then you don't see people get really famous and then die. Or really famous and then do something crazy like Hitler. Someone put Jesus, Gandhi, and Hitler in, in a group as three of the most charismatic people that's ever existed. And I, I've never heard of Hitler in a group like that because of you know morality, because Hitler caused all this death. But charismatically, these people were just fire. They were very charismatic, and they chose to do different things with it. Three very different things with it, and and we're all charismatic like that. We can all we can all do it. So we should, man. We should get cameras and and fucking explore our power, our individual power together as a human race, not as a cult, not as a small group of people doing it, but as a human race. Every human should should connect, can connect, and we will eventually. But I want to help to uh, expedite, expedite, rather, the process by fucking going nuts on camera. Just by being myself, you know? I just, just by being myself and, like, thinking and, like, giving back the stuff that I've taken in. There's more to string theory. There's much more to, to all this thought mass and it's going to get to a point where it goes critical. And when that happens, all the thought is going to be like making one thing at a time happen. All these people, excuse me, all these people are going to be making all these things happen together with you by utilizing video and getting people to do have thoughts at the same time. And that's what Thursday night's about at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to put up some the links of all the time zones on the side and come to the stick camera room, to Katie's stick camera room, from Katie's opinion. And it's going to be a, an attempt to get everyone to focus on the fact that we can, we can make great change in the world. And it's not, a, it's not an ego thing. I don't, it's not about me. I'm not, I don't want great power. I just want to see people communicate. Maybe then I want great power to see people communicate. And then I'm going to die. And that's fine. I'll die when I'm 85. And I'll die just like everyone else dies. We alone, we can alone, and we die. We're nothing, we're nothing, I'm nothing. But we can do it together. Um, okay, I'll, t I'll talk to you later. This is it's a great trip, I feel, I feel more connected. <sighs> to, to you, and to me, to myself, to about, balanced, I'm, I'm more balanced. I hope this isn't over 10 minutes. I don't want to cut it. All right, see you.